hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and if you are looking for a tool that can transfer whatsapp conversations videos photos and everything that it's inside whatsapp from ios to android from android to ios ios and android to mac os ios and android to windows and vice versa then this tool will be able to do now i was invited by unique tool to test it out and give my feedback i already give my feedback to them so today i'm going to give you my perspective my experience using this tool and spoiler alert it works great it has a few limitations that i will share so first of all it's available for mac os and windows so we just need to download the version that we want install on our computer computer and that is it now the first limitation that i did find is that on mac os there are three tools that are still not available the first one which is the backup which is a free feature is not available the restore and export is not available so the only thing that is available at this moment is the transfer between ios and android or vice versa on the windows side if you are using windows then you will be just fine because everything is already working and we will see both on mac os and windows the experience that we have hopefully by the end of the video you will be able to tell yourself if this is the software that you want or not based on the help that hopefully i can give now if you want to start transferring from ios to android or android to ios then you can use mac os or windows no problem at all what i did use in my test was the iphone 11 pro samsung galaxy s20 fan edition 5g and also the xiaomi pad 5 yeah i know probably what's up on a tablet it's not that great but it was an experiment that i did now once we have the software installed we will connect in this particular case both devices i did connect the iphone and also the Samsung Galaxy S20 and the first time it will ask us for a few permissions which I'm okay with it so I did allow both on the iPhone and also on the Android phone after that we will need to choose what is the phone that I want as a source and what is a phone that I want as a destination and we can choose Android or iOS doesn't matter it will work both ways now the first step will take uh, quite a few minutes this will depend on the amount of conversations that we have on whatsapp i was not aware that i had so many conversations actually i've got about four gigabytes worth of that so it will take about 20 minutes half an hour something like that on this first step now the second step was the preparation of the destiny and here we will also need to give permission so that the software can write on the phone the third step was very fast i can't even recall it what it was right now and then lastly the fourth step is the copy of all the conversations that were on the source device to the destination now this will take as long as the first step in total i'm not really sure because i didn't time it but i would say that it will take roughly 45 minutes to one hour the whole process but the important is that when it finish we will have all the conversations that we had on the source we will have on the destination as well so if you have an iphone and you are migrating to android it will work just fine if you have an android and you are migrating to ios then you will be just fine because everything will be there so if you want to use the app great just there is a link down below you can check it out check the prices and so on and so forth works great now one more curiosity is that on the guides you will find this information but for me it was curious while testing the app which is i was using one iphone with one phone number and the samsung galaxy with another phone number and this information might be useful for you if you are wondering if you can work with two different numbers yes you can no issues at all but the point is that on the destination phone i was installing whatsapp app and i did notice that when it was transferring there is one step that actually it will remove the whatsapp app and it will install a custom whatsapp app and this is the way that the software can work around and bring everything from android to ios or vice versa so this is the way that it will work once we have everything on the destination phone we just need to make a backup of those conversations to the storage of the phone and after that you can update the whatsapp app the latest version so it will remove everything that was from the customized version of whatsapp app and we are 
good to go. You can do your login and just start using WhatsApp on your new phone with all the conversations that you had on the old phone. And as I said before, macOS is a little bit limited at this time. So for the rest of the tests, we need to move to Windows, which was what I did. Now on Windows, there is another three options that we have. First of all is the free option of backup. And this backup is really useful if you want to save everything on your computer. So we just need to plug in the phone, start with the backup, it will ask us to tell which is the source and we need to verify if we don't have any active backup to the Google Drive which is really important and then we just need to follow up the guide and that is it it will make the copy it will take quite a while because once again you are talking about four gigabytes of information in my particular case but works just great now we also have the option to restore and that is a boring option but necessary if you lose everything from your phone and then you just want to restore to your new phone then that will be great and useful but the feature that i really enjoyed is the last feature which is called export now the export is really nice because it will grab the backup that we already made to our computer and it will scan for the files and then it will give me the option to browse from photos browse videos browse everything that i've got on my whatsapp content and export conversations if I want to. Now I did try to export on PDF but we have the option to export on HTML and also on XLS and I did test out on PDF and it's great because it will print me a document with the whole conversation and if in the conversation there are pictures it will show the pictures as well. In my opinion that was really really interesting. So this is my feedback regarding the app. It works great on macOS and on Windows. macOS we still need to wait so that they can activate these three features that are not available at the time of the recording. In terms of pricing at this moment, the prices are $26 for one month plan, 35 for one year and 45 for life. Now, in terms of pricing, I'm a bit confused as a consumer, as a potential owner of a shop that gives this kind of services. This would be great because I could pay monthly. And in this particular case, I would choose probably the yearly or for $10 more, I would choose the lifetime plan. And then I would sell this service to my client. And that would be a great service, cheap and with a really nice return for me as a shop owner. As a consumer, honestly, I don't know which one I choose because in my opinion and my perspective might be wrong. This is something that we use, I don't know, once in 10 years when I decide that I don't want Android anymore and I want to move to iPhone or I don't want iPhone and I want to move to Android. So in my opinion, there should be another price uh, less time probably with a little bit lower value that we can use for five days and that is it. Now if you ask me is $25 expensive to use during one month? No it's not but honestly I just used for one day and I did transfer from one phone to another one so I still have 29 days what I'm going to do with 29 days of the software that just makes me wonder but that is it guys this is my opinion this is my feedback hopefully the video will help you to decide if this is the software that you need the truth is that it works great on iOS Android Mac OS and Windows if the video was helpful in some way don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there that it's really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one